it's women, we know that we have thousand reasons to be tired. So um, who would think it's, you know, a blockage? Some people just present with like, oh, I'm taking Tums because I'm having reflux. And some people just feel like, you know, because I'm deconditioned, I don't work out, I'm short of breath. We as women have explanations to all our symptoms as, oh, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm taking care of my family. And that justification delays care. The signs of heart attack in women could vary from typical chest pain, feeling short of breath. Some people just have arm pain, jaw pain, feeling, uh, you know, just some acid reflux and indigestion kind of symptoms. So these are the most common. Very rarely we see dizziness as one of them. You know, soon after childbirth, some people are prone to having heart attacks, so they present very differently as well. Oh, I don't have any risk factors. Oh, I'm active. Oh, I, you know, I'm able to do all my daily chores and it cannot happen to me. Just because you're so busy with your daily activities, you've not, you know, you don't have the typical symptoms. Actually, some women don't even get yearly, you know, like lipid panels and preventative checks done until they find a friend, have heart problems or someone dying at the young age. Heart disease can happen to anyone. If you have high blood pressure, even before or during pregnancy, if you have diabetes during pregnancy, premature, preterm, all this increases your risk of heart events in future. Women just have different risk factors compared to men. So I would at least have your either primary care or one visit with the cardiologist 